Our country's veterans have served America honorably for over 200 years. And while they may not have all seen combat, they all share a common bond in their willingness to make the ultimate sacrifice in defense of America and in the protection of our freedoms. The extensive training and education that veterans receive can also benefit civilian employers like the state of Minnesota. In addition to the very technical skills that military uh, members learn, they learn skills like leadership and team building, attention to detail and mission purpose. Uh, the military also teaches its leaders to lead by example, demonstrating both integrity and discipline, very valuable skills for any position, especially with the state of Minnesota. I want to encourage the hiring of veterans as a smart business practice. Please listen to what veterans have to offer as state employees. What I bring to the job as, as a veteran, probably the three key ones would be accountability, integrity, and duty. And the reason I say those three is because when I come into work, I am all about work. And for eight hours, that's what the DNR or the state or any other employer is going to get, is a full duty day, accountable for everything that I do, done at the highest integrity level that I possibly can. The dedication to the job that I'm doing, um, it's a very profound dedication that you're kind of instilled within the military, and it carries into this department very well. You learn to, to uh, have to work with both people in the military and outside the military. A lot of uh, our contractors, the folks that we work with, are uh, civilian organizations, government agencies, and uh, private contractors, not just the military. Respect is another one. Um, you know, I've got a lot of respect for the job that I do and the resources that I'm protecting, as well as the people that I come in contact with you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Part of what we get graded on in the, in the military are leadership, judgment, equal opportunity, mission accomplishment, and teamwork. Several of the special skills that I bring to, to my employment is planning and program development. A second piece would be working with diverse groups. The military is probably the most diverse employer uh, in the country. And then the third piece is also as a facilitator for meetings. Having been an officer, uh, I facilitated many meetings and that all just translates over to the projects and the teamwork that is done here. You have to show that you can get a, a project or a, uh, an activity completed and that's what's part of mission accomplishment. I find that I'm working with multiple disciplines within the DNR, be it forestry or enforcement. The enforcement working with forestry, uh, waters, lands, parks, that we all work together to accomplish their goals and missions, but also to get mine done. So we work very cohesively together and it's a natural transition from what I had in the military to this environment. The responsibility you have is uh, tremendous. Uh, you're responsible for people's lives, responsible for people's welfare. And those things that you do not take lightly, but, you, but also you learn that um, you can learn to recognize when to, to make the right decision and to not sit on the fence. Sometimes uh, sitting on the fence and not making a decision is worse than making the wrong decision. And so those types of things you learn uh, in, in the military.